Welcome back to PSC Tech Byte. Today I want to talk with you about the reporting APIs that we have in the Microsoft Graph. In fact, we already saw a couple of weeks ago that in Microsoft Graph we have a bunch of new APIs for reporting, for having reports about, for example, Microsoft Teams, Yammer, Skype for Business and SharePoint Online. And from the SharePoint Online perspective, we can get reports about activity and site usage. When we get a report, we get back a CSV file that we can process with our custom tools or BI analysis tools. In order to be able to use these APIs, we need to have uh, the reports.read.all uh, permission. And just to give you an idea, this is the list uh, of reports that we can get uh, from an activity report perspective. So, for example, we have reports about user details, uh, file counts, uh, user counts and pages from a user perspective. Moreover, we can get uh, site usage reports and we can get details about sites, uh, the file count or the site count, the storage allocated by sites, as well as the pages uh, uh, by site. In order to use these APIs, we have to provide a period input argument, which can be a string which represents the number of days that we want uh, the report uh, to be related to. So it can be the 7 for 7 days, or the 30 for 30 days, or 90 days and 180 days. Moreover, some of the APIs accept also a date input argument, which can be a specific date for which we want to retrieve the report. So, let's move to the demo environment and let's see how to play with these APIs. So, here you can see the entry point of the SharePoint uh, online uh, reporting APIs uh, in the uh, documentation uh, or API reference of Microsoft Graph. And as you can see, we have the SharePoint activity section as well as the SharePoint site usage section. Just to give you an idea, for all of these uh, APIs, uh, you will have to have the specific uh, permission scope assigned uh, to your application with a delegated access token. You can have the report.read.all permission or with an application only token, still the report.read.all. And here you can see the syntax for the request, the period argument that I was telling you about, as well as the date uh, argument, which is available, as I said, not in all of the APIs, but in some of them, like for example, this one, the get user detail. From a site user perspective, we have uh, another set of requests that we can make. Uh, so, for example, the get site detail uh, is quite useful because we'll give you back the information about all of the sites that you have uh, in your tenant and it will include information about the site ID, the site URL, uh, the file count, the active file count and so on and so forth. So, in order to play with this API, here, for example, I have uh, Telerik uh, Fiddler you can simply make a get uh, HTTPS request targeting the Microsoft Graph uh, and providing the target API as well as the period input argument. You have to provide an access token as a bare authorization header in the request and you will get back a response uh, which will be a 302 which is basically a redirect uh, which will redirect you to the actual URL of the CSV file and in the URL you will also have in the query string the token you can use to get the uh, actual CSV file and this token will expire shortly after a matter of few minutes uh, uh, after you get uh, this uh, redirection and to give you an idea this is the text content here you get all of the information about your site uh, the date of the report, the ID of the site, the URL, and all the other stuff that I told you. So, this is a set of really useful uh, reporting APIs uh, that you can use to collect information about your site collections and about the usage of your site collection files and pages uh, from an end user's perspective. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.